So this is the hen kebab, and this is from um, this is really interesting meat from uh, basically a supplier called Ad Harvey. It's a resource that's like massively under underused in the UK, and as you can see, we can make it into this really tasty dish. So it's an ingredient that we should really be focusing on and highlighting. So here I've got my stent hen. So as you can see, just by looking at it, it's, it's quite a scrawny looking bird. So it's, it's called a spent hen, but I mean, it's probably the, the more more correct terminology is probably more um, X laying chicken. They're about two years old, um, you know, whereas your normal chicken in a supermarket could be anywhere about six weeks old. It's been used in the egg laying industry. A lot of these underused meats used in like dog food, cat food, into tinned pies and stuff like that. Very hard to cook. We've tried it many different ways. Confi in the legs, confi in this, make it into a sausage. So the best sort of thing we've found so far is this uh, kebab mix because it's, it's ground down and we find that the yogurt and the spice mix actually um, really tenderizes the meat a little bit. I'll just show you quickly how we're going to prep this chicken. It's the same as a normal chicken. So just going to take, um, these come with the heads and the necks on. Um, obviously it's all super usable. This is pretty much, um, we're just going to use all this to make our uh, chicken stock, which goes on one of our other dishes. So we do a lovely halibut dish with a uh, chicken sauce. Next up, I'm just going to take the wings off. And then for the kebab, it's really, really simple. We're just actually going to mince pretty much the whole bird. Um, so now my wings have come off, um, I'm going to take the legs off. So we're just going to go around the top of the breast. We then snap the thigh bone out, round the oyster of the chicken which is that little uh, little pocket of meat on the bottom of the carcass. And it's going to take the leg off like so. Same on the other side, through the skin. And then you're left with what you call the, the crown. The tip of your knife is just going to go either side of that wishbone. Through the bottom, through the bottom on the other side. And then it just bends back like so. And that's called the wishbone. You quite often have it at you know, where you tear it off and break it in half. It's going to go down that central breastbone and then just basically follow the meat all the way down and then through that wing knuckle. So that's my breast and then one on the other side as well. But then the rest of that carcass, again, is just going to be used for the stocks. So I'm just going to take, just basically chop it up into nice small, nice small pieces, meaning that going to be able to get maximum color on the bones when we roast them off. So we're just going to split the, the thigh and the leg. So that's your drumstick. There's your thigh. We're just going to go through that, that joint, separating the two. The thigh is a bit easier. Literally just going to use the knife, scrape out the thigh bone. That will reveal the bone. And then we're just with the very point of the knife, just going to go round the thigh bone and then it will come off. Remove any sinews or little bits of cartilage that are in there. And the same with the leg. Um, again, just going to use the knife, go down to the bone, and then just go round the bone, just using the very tip of the knife. How long has it been now? Like two or three months? Well, we've got, we got them on and off, didn't we? Like, we got them, we got yeah. them for ages, gave up, got them again. Spent hen exists in our food system. It's used in, like, budget foods it's used on like it's like tandoori meat on like cheap barbecue pizzas or whatever you want it's used in iceland My favorite. it's not it's not it's not one of those things that's not like new, it's not a new thing to the system um but trying to shine a light on it and spotlight it the, f the best way we found is just to, to um to mince it makes the flavor makes the texture more more uh, palatable but also you taste you taste a lot a lot more and we're just going to mince down the chicken So in goes our breasts and our thighs. And to this as well, I'm just gonna add, we add a little bit of smoked bacon fat. The smoked bacon is gonna add a nice smoky flavor and also a nice bit of pork fat into there as well. So that's our mix there with the bacon fat mixed in. And now that's ready to be marinated. So in here, we've got our lovely tandoori um, marinade, which uh, is our sous chef Mark's recipe. So this is basically Greek yogurt. We've got um, quite a lot of dry fenugreek leaves or kasuri meti. We've got a little bit of salt in there. 
um, garam masala, garlic, onion, um, a tiny bit of ginger and coriander. Um, just made into a really nice paste. Um, and we're just gonna pour that over the chicken. And then we're just gonna beat that all together. This marinade was actually designed for another dish. We did, um, for the Jubilee weekend, we did Coronation Chicken Burger and we used this marinade for the chicken thighs. And we had a bit left over and we were working on a hen scotch egg, which wasn't going very well. And so I just thought about it. Well, why not put some of the marinade in and see what happens? We left it for a day and uh, it was the best version of the hen kebab we'd ever tried. So from then on, it's what we've been doing really. Now we're gonna just set that in the fridge, cover the bowl and uh, we'll leave it for a minimum of eight hours, usually overnight, ready for the next day's service. One of our sous chefs used to work with um, lots of Indian chefs and he's picked up all these like basically just handy tips and tricks handy tips and tricks from um, from all the guys he used to work with uh, and we now call it he's the spice master talk of the devil Gilmore Mark. get over it we're just talking about your, your spice name well um, it's just simply uh, just Greek yogurt with uh, lemon juice seasonings like uh, garam masala our fermented chili flakes uh, and a really important seasoning that people kind of didn't think would be in it but it's called kazuri methi it's just dried fenugreek leaves it's quite vital in a lot of Indian cuisine and that's how you get that aromatic flavor that really comes out of there. And then a blast of acidity with some lemon juice and uh, simply salt, whisk, whisk it with oil and um, add it with, some, uh, with the Greek yogurt and you're good to go. So our meat has now been marinating for, um, uh, this has actually been for 10 hours, we did it overnight. Um, so I've got some, I've got some, just got some kebab skewers here. So I'm just gonna take, I'm just gonna get my hands wet. It's a little trick just to stop the mints sticking to your hand. I'm just gonna take a small handful of the meat into my hand, flatten it out nicely to like sort of like a rough rectangle shape. And we'll place the skewer around it and then we'll just mold it around the, around the skewer. And then on to our tray. And then we'll set those in the fridge and then they'll go upstairs and be ready to cook. So now we've got this hen kebab. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cook it on the grill over charcoal to give it a really good charred flavor. They're quite delicate. The meat doesn't kind of act the same as like a normal chicken kebab. It's very different. What we're looking for is just to get a really nice color but not over caramelize it so you burn those spices that are running through the mix. Probably going to take about eight to nine minutes which is going to have like an internal temperature of about 72 degrees. Start it off on here to get the flavor and then we can continue the rest of the cooking process in the oven. All right, these should be nicely cooked now. Nice and soft in the middle, not too dry at all but you can really smell the spices coming off. We've just got a little bit extra marinade, just mixed with a bit of chicken sauce. And we're just gonna baste the, the kebabs in now while they're resting. Now to plate up, I've got a beautiful salad here of shaved raw white onion, picked coriander and picked dill. Just gonna season that with a bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, tiny little dash of uh, English rapeseed oil give that a beautiful little toss. Let the onions soften ever so slightly. Buttermilk. A little bit of the extra marinade. And we've got this beautiful little fresh salad. It's gonna add a really nice bit of texture. Just gonna dress it on top of the kebab. A little bit of mint gel. A few little dots of our sauce. And there you have it. Tandoori spice hen kebab with buttermilk, onion and fresh herb salad. How is that? I mean, it's, it's so good. I mean, you know, it's like we say about a lot of our food. It's weird because like the meat product we're starting with, although it's it's a good quality chicken, it's like, it's not the best quality, so we're having to add the other bits to it. And it's got a lot of flavour. It's just a bit, I, 
it's a little bit tough, it's a little bit dry. And... As, the, as the Italians say, the, the older the chicken, the better the broth. 